Hi, I'm Steve Damian. As a child, I actually lived two blocks away from here on Bostwick Avenue in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And my dad walked to work every day one block to another factory that was right down there that was owned by Westinghouse. And my parents had lots of friends who worked in buildings like this that employed thousands in these urban centers of the industrial Northeast. So these buildings represent not only empty buildings, but the loss of all of those jobs that used to exist in cities like Bridgeport. Several years ago, when we started thinking of ways that these old buildings might be put back to use and create jobs, we also started thinking about what might be produced in these buildings. And believe it or not, one of the ideas we came up with was turning these buildings uh, into farms. Well, here we are at our small little research lab in Storrs, Connecticut. Um, about two years ago, we got a research grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And the purpose of the grant it was for us to evaluate the feasibility of growing basically indoors using hydroponics, which is when you grow in water instead of soil, and using high-tech LED lights, like what you see behind me here. Part of our research grant allowed us to go do some taste testing in supermarkets. Our taste testing was, was remarkable, actually. Uh, almost 90% of the people who tasted it wanted to buy it that day in the stores, even though it wasn't available. Behind me, what you've been looking at is something that we've started to call the rig. The rig actually is the building block of our idea of an urban high-density indoor farm. If you're gonna fill an empty building with a lettuce farm, you need to assemble it somehow. And the way we envision it is with multiple rigs. So if we look at the three major benefits of having an urban high density indoor farm is one, we make use of unwanted, unused buildings, old factory buildings, old warehouse buildings that are just sitting there now. Number two, we create urban jobs right in the center of the city. These are not minimum wage jobs. These are not typical agricultural jobs because they're year round, they're 12 month of the year jobs. And then finally, you have the obvious advantages that of something being grown locally. It's unbelievably fresh. You know where it came from. It's pesticide free. It's there every day. You, you, you can eat the lettuce the same day that it was actually harvested. All of us who have been working on this project for 20 months or more are really excited about what we've accomplished so far and where we can go next. But we really need your help. We would like you to be a part of this new way of growing. We would like you someday to be able to say there was this little company in Connecticut that had this idea of turning old factories into local lettuce farms and I supported them. Wouldn't it be neat to be able to tell your grandchildren even that their names were on the first hundred rigs that got manufactured and shipped to cities throughout the northeastern United States? We appreciate any help that you can afford to give us. That's what's going to make this happen and make it happen quickly.